Hello there, Alex the Chaos Wolf here. Today I'm going to be playing a game called Mariposa and the Galaxy Man. It's actually a demo that's available on Steam. The link is going to be down in the description. Uh, one, the game was recommended to me by a really good friend of mine, uh, William, in Discord, who uh, has been really excited for me to actually play it. Um, this would actually probably be my first video recording by myself. I'm not particularly good at uh, doing these, unfortunately. It's usually why I have people with me. Because <laughs> I notice that I get quiet if I don't have anybody to talk to me. Which is uh, oof, probably not good for getting into uh, YouTube content creation, eh? Anyway. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and play this game. I will put the link down in the description, and we'll see what it's like. I've been told that it's a pretty decent game. Um, other than that, I don't know anything about it. So we'll just have to leave it up to ourselves to decide. Alright, let's see. Space to begin. Let me see what the settings are. See if there's any like copyright audio I need to cut out. Okay, no, we're gonna want that. Visuals. I'll leave it at the default. Uh, like I said, this is a um, a demo and it's an alpha variant, so I guess it's not. The disclaimers that they gave said that it was not really representative of all of the content that's going to be available in the game. Space. The final frontier. Oh, that's cute. Space bus. Space bus. Ooh. Hang in there, little guy. You'll be back out and about in no time. What did you find, Muddy? Hey, Aunt Dawn. It's another mirette with radiation sickness. <laughs> Hello to you too, Pancake. Oh, poor fellow. He's the fifth one this week too. I don't think it's artificial either. There's no construction or manufacturing nearby. Maybe there's a nebular migration? It's possible, I suppose, but nebular tend to finish the kill. So what else? Super giant? Green star? Tell you what, you can think on it while you get your work done. Ah, uh, of course. Off you go, Mariposa. <sighs> All right then, let's see what's on the agenda for today. All right. This is an alien world of giant flowers, butterfly folk, and special blue nectar called Nectra, which allows objects and creatures to float in zero gravity. That's better. Oh boy. Well, and there it goes again. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to deal with that.
you, Vinkika? Hi, Mari. Do you want to play together? Sorry, I'm working right now. I'll play later, okay? You have to. I'm gonna grow up and be a grumpy teenager one day, and you're gonna regret not play with me when you could. <laughs> Is that so? Uh-huh. How's your dad's harvest going? I'm looking forward to having Lenore Nectar on my pancakes again. Me too. Dad's mad at one of the harvest machines, though. It broke in the storm last week and won't work no matter what he does. Does he need some new parts? Yeah, but someone called and said they're gonna come late. He said there was a space road disturbance in the way. I think some of his workers got stuck in traffic because of it, too. That's strange. I think I heard something about that earlier when I was driving down to the planet today. I wonder what's going on. What's this sudden talk about growing up, anyway? Um, Dad says I'll have my metamorphosis soon, and I need to start thinking about my future and stuff. Oh, stars! That must be pretty exciting, huh? I guess. But I don't know if I want to have wings yet. Do you think it'll hurt getting them? What if they come out all crumpled? Or have weird colors? Don't worry. I'm sure you'll have beautiful wings, just like your family. Besides, it won't hurt. You'll be sleeping in your cocoon the whole time. How do you know? You never got yours. Well, I've read a lot about it. I have some books in my van about it, if you want me to get them for you. Oh. Okay. Besides, I could still get my wings any time, you know. Are you sure? I heard that sometimes half you and Flutterkins never get them. I'll go get the books. Ouch. <laughs> so, how are Hatira and Razarin doing today? Off saving the galaxy again? Yeah, they're about to fight an angry owl thing. He's got a knife, and he's mad because he doesn't have self-respect and he's lashing out at other people. Wow. So what are they going to do about it? Hatara wants to kick his butt. But Razarin wants to explore his subconscious brain. First, he wants his psychic kick his butt, though. Huh. Maybe you should be a therapist when you grow up. Dad says that, too! Well, alright, so we did not get our wings, nice to know, is there a, get the books from the van, yeah, I'll go do that first, I'll go do that first, I'm more interested in that. That, I missed that thing along the way. So I'm noticing that there's spools, cloth, and what well, looks like patterns here, so it looks like there's going to be some form of crafting. thoughts for when your own wings come. I will. Alright, so we go. 
find the center of the map. Ah, Don's office. Here we go. Bonnie, what's shaking? Oh, first off, in response to that hollow you sent me last night, I must say that it did give me a little bit of a chuckle. I was unaware that shrubbery could jump like that. I know, right? I didn't even try to scare him. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, the second thing I wanted to speak to you about was regarding my schooling. I decided to return to Floros for a master's degree. There's much to learn, and, and I really feel like I'm on the verge of something here with my research. Oh, wow! That's stellar, Bonnie! So you're continuing with archaeology? Yes. I would like to inform you about my current discovery, but I'm afraid the topic is quite sensitive. I'd rather tell you in person next time we meet. It has to do with the incident a few years ago. Oh, the incident. I, I understand. It's alright. I wanted to ask if you're thinking about going back as well. You want to become a veterinarian, correct? Uh, yeah, well... I was thinking about it. I don't know. I, I think that maybe I'll stick around at Aunt Dawn's for a while. Why is that? You seemed excited to continue your education when you graduated. I barely graduated. That's the thing. I don't know if I'm cut out for that more academic, technical medical stuff. I'm feeling lost when it comes to what I want right now. I understand. If you ever need a study partner, just let me know. I can prepare flashcards just like before midterms. Flashcards did help. Thanks again for that. Consider my study assistance on payment for your kindness and help my dear Daisy with her name. I'm never one to refuse a good trade. Oh, dear me. Hey, Man, school. people don't talk like this. Please excuse me if you hear anything excessively in the background. Uh, I think I'm going to call you back. All good. See ya. Zero gravity. Our paws are like all floodkins. You can use the nectar that flows through your body to activate a zero D state by holding the right mouse button. This will continue. Or this will continue her into whatever direction speed she was when she pressed it. Okay. Why did that look like a tub of beans?
seemed a little bit more problematic to me than anything else. the music was very loud. Just exceedingly loud. Alright. So I 
got that one over there. Where's the other one for these guys? This world is definitely giving me hippie vibes, I'm not gonna lie. Although I did say that it was like a bunch of worlds set in like the 90s, various stages of the 1990s or something like that. Dome. Some weird bird things just burrowed in and started attacking the sheep. I got them confined before they heard any. What? It, do you have any idea what they are? No idea. Do you want to come down and check it out? I'll be right over. Can you check on the other habitats for me? Start with the ice dome. Sure thing. I'll send some pictures to Bonnie and see if she can identify them. Isn't there like a heart piece around here somewhere? I feel like there was. I thought I saw something vaguely heart shaped around here. I think I already ran into it though when I first came in.
I'm gonna assume the ice stone. It's that one over there. The one that's blue. But ice is always blue, right? Right. Always blue. If you don't have blue ice, your ice is wrong. Doesn't look like there are any of those birds here. Guess I'll feed the glacids and move to the next dome. Hmm? Hmm. It looks like the Raranox Aurora lamp isn't working. He'll get restless without it on. I'll have to take care of that, too. Okay. Spin whack. Okay. I'm not sure how I feel about the slipping in between powers like this. I think it would have been better to just like bind them to one, two, and three. And then you just press that button instead of going through the mouse. Right over here. I'm a dumbass. There we go. Ah. Hey, get away from them.
Bye. Anton, I found more of the mystery birds in the ice dome. Any idea what these things are yet? I haven't had time to check. They appear similar to some fauna from Felmoria, but I can't be certain. I sent Heather and Bradley to check on the lava dome, so go ahead that and check face, on the space man. dome. That face. Oh, if the birds burrow up there, that could cause serious damage. All right, I'm on it. All right, so it seems like during cutscenes and stuff, things slow down on the system, like things are chugging just a little bit. That's what I'm noticing so far. So it might be something with how the cutscenes are being rendered and processed. That, uh, might need a little bit of optimization. But then I'm a VTuber, so you know, it, it could just be me. I want that blue fairy over there. <laughs> Why did I think this was a good idea? I tarf. Yes. What are you talking about? Space horse. Oh. All right, go to the space dome. is more cute than they have any right to be. These creatures are more cute than they have any right to be. Bonnie, did you get my text? Yes. You said it's some kind of bird, right? You needed me to identify it for you? Yes, the sooner the better. Those research skills will come in handy. Oh, of course. I'll let you know when I find anything. I'm on the case. Thanks, Bonnie. Doesn't look like there are any in here either. The zero G containment field probably makes it harder. Still, better keep my eyes open. Oh, so that's how that works. Okay. their food. Is it all the way down there?
There we go. Okay. Okay, control is aim. That makes things a little bit easier. Okay, and then there's that one there. There we go. Marty, I found out what these creatures are. Perfect. Lay it on me. They're called Netarex, native to Amuna Femoria. They're known for being highly aggressive and rather mean, really. They burrow up from the ground to surprise their prey. Yeah, I've seen that. How could they have gotten on Fluttica? Girl, sorry. I wish I could tell you. Oh, also, Marty, be careful. The picture you sent me is a smaller specimen, but... Apparently, Netarax are commanded by a leader who is much bigger than the rest. Just how much bigger are we talk? Sorry, Bonnie. Aunt Dawn is calling. Um, okay. But... Hey, Aunt Dawn! Mari, I need you to go to the Lava Dome right now. I sent Heather and Bradley in. 
but neither of them are responding to my calls. Uh-oh. I'm trying to handle the birds in the ice dome and can't check on them. Stars, what's going on? Likely nothing good. I'm going to notify animal control. You check on the lava dome. And Maddie, be careful. Don't put yourself in any unnecessary danger. I won't. Promise. You might get squashed like a bug. Too soon. Off to the magnetone. Or at least a reference to it. <coughs> Marty! Heather? Bradley? What? <coughs> we will pull down the quick! <coughs> get, get us out! Hurry! There's a giant bird! <laughs> ah.
Jeepers Creepers. Is a nice Are you guys okay? I, I'm a little more than dazed, but I'll manage. The do no harm pledge doesn't apply to animal care workers, right? I'd rather not have done that, but it was him or you guys. Bradley's being a blockhead. Thank you, Muddy. Yeah, that was far out. That must have been what Bonnie was talking about. How did these things get here? It practically spewed bad mojo. Probably best for it to no longer be clogging the pathways of creative energy in the rescue center. Yeah, man, it's totally bogus vibes. Well, I'm just glad you two are okay. <laughs> you should both get a checkup right away, just to be safe. And wash off all that dirt, too. Bradley looks hardly different, though. Yeah. The planet's natural gifts shall not be squandered. Nor mocked. You should return the planet's gifts to her, then. Alas, her dirt Ew. does not come with a gift receipt. Ugh. Oh, thank goodness I got through. Are, are you all right, Maddie? What happened? Um, a lot. Just a minute. I'll be there in a sec. I don't know how long this demo is, by the way. Oh, I see. It sounds like we had a very close call. And how? I've notified Animal Control. They should be on their way. In the meantime, you two need to get yourselves checked into medical right away. Who knows what sort of diseases those creatures might have brought with them. Well, this has turned into quite the tumultuous day. You should have hightailed it out of the dome, like I told you. I shudder at the thought of leaving you defenseless against such a beast. Oh. Well, better for it to have a mouth full of me. <laughs> as long as, you know... You're all safe, like. <sighs> Your flattery is misspent. But, uh, nah, like, uh, I really mean it. Oh. Aww. Mariposa Connors. Oh. I thought I told you to get out at the first sign of danger. I'm sorry. You should have called me immediately. You could have been killed. Then what am I supposed to tell your parents? Mom and Dad would have done exactly what I did. Because they have experience. They have the skill to deal with situations like that, not just recklessness. But I took care of it. Bradley and Heather could have died. You think I should have done nothing? It's not what you did, it's how you did it. Or would you rather end up like your grandfather? Grandpa was a brave man. He was a hero. Leaving two girls alone without a father to fight some godforsaken war is hardly a heroic deed. You must learn to let others take care of things they can handle better. It's because I don't have wings, right? It, is that what this is about? You haven't had your metamorphosis, so you're trying to prove yourself? I know you're not a child, Maddie. What am I supposed to think when you let the volunteers take on all the dangerous work? You know full well that you're capable. Just like there are some things others do better. There's plenty of things you're much more suited for. <coughs> for example, am I understood? Yes, ma'am. I suppose I can't help the apple falling so close to the tree. I need you to follow the rules as long as you're working here. But knowing you, I can't imagine you'll be staying on this ranch forever. So, knowing how to think and take action on your own is important too. I suppose you didn't have much time to react. And you did save Bradley and Heather's lives. Your parents would be proud of you. For that, I'm sure. Thanks, Aunt Dawn. Now back to work with you. The critters in the lava dome still need to be taken care of. Beyond that, if you're done for the day, you can rest up in your van. Yes, ma'am. Marty, is everything okay? Things are groovy, Bonnie. <coughs> I had to... Uh take out the giant netherrack, but it turned out okay. Oh my goodness gracious! You aren't hurt? Nothing that I can feel while on this adrenaline high, anyway. Huh, what a relief. Anyway, I went looking through a few more articles on the creatures, and it turns out that when their leaders are, uh, uh, out of the picture, they become less aggressive towards other animals. I guess they must be confused. Gotcha. Thanks, Bonnie. Call you back later. Let's go. 
ahead and do that. Mom, Dad, hey, it's been a while since you last called. Hello, Marty. Hey there, Sunflower. We coming in okay? I can hear you fine. Uh, can't see your live hollow, though. We're too far out to be sending hollow reel feeds. Command's also been cracking down on outside communication in general. There's a theory going around that the monsters can detect radio signals. I think it's bull, though. Probably just an excuse to make the Greens afraid to sneak a call to their moms and leak info. Isn't that what you're doing now? Not as long as you don't tell your grandmother. <laughs> I was actually wanting to know if you know guys you have heard brother. anything from Andrew. He hasn't responded to my messages. He got sent to a different front. He's a greenhorn, so they might be restricting his message access. Well, with your blood in him, I'm sure he'll prove himself quickly. He inherited a passion for annihilating star killers, that's for sure. I hope he's all right. Well, things have been going relatively well here. Really? Tell us what you've been up to. Don hasn't been running you ragged, I hope. No, things are good here. Lots of work, but it's worth it to keep the animals safe and happy. Well, have you decided whether you're going back to school yet? Uh, not yet. I'm not really too sure what to do. I feel like I might want to join one of those off-world animal rescue places. One of the big ones where I'll get to go off-planet all the time. Is Flutica not doing it for you? Oh no, I like it here. But I rarely go anywhere besides the moons. Our off-world native animals are brought to us by volunteers and animal control. Mostly lost pets or those that were smuggled in. Well, if you do want to go back and become a vet, I'm sure you'll be able to do it. With all those clubs you joined as a kid, I'm sure you can handle a master's degree. Uh, let's see. Well, things have been going relatively well here. Uh, really? Shit. Tell us there we go. <laughs> okay. Are you doing all right? I know you can't talk much about the war, but... Well, jet lag over here. Just about had his leg torn off by a razor neck. Recovery's going great, might I add. Barely feel the pain anymore. Wait, what? You sure you're okay, Dad? Yeah, I'm fine. A couple of more scars won't hurt me. They're not sending you back to Flutica for treatment? No can do. We're months out by this point. Only a fully charged warp gate would get us back in a timely manner. And those are restricted to everything but returning resupply ships or folks ending their tours. We actually have clearance codes for a military warp gate near Flutica since we were scheduled to leave last month. Don't know if they've changed them, though. In any case, there's so much stuff being shipped out here that we already have a fully staffed high-class hospital. No need to leave the front, unfortunately. Oh, I see. We're sorry, Sunflower. We'll find a way back home soon. Have those... things eaten any more stars? We can't really talk about the cabin right now. Sorry, Sunflower. No, I... I get it. Uh, Marty? I have the Flutica news feed up, and it says there's some kind of commotion over the planet. Hmm? Well, Aunt Dawn called animal control, so it's probably that. No, it's saying the magways are all clogged up. Green Star and Supergiant Mega Cruisers en route. Are you seeing that, Marty? Huh? I heard that stuff's been going down in the upper atmosphere, but I don't... What the... <gasps> what on earth was that? Bob, are you there? Hey. Bob? What's going on? And we'll find out later. <laughs> Title screen. Let's go back to the title screen. Alright. Uh, well, actually, that, that was pretty good. The, so the demo is roughly about an hour long. You know, give or take, basically, the, the issues we had on my end. But, uh, I, it's pretty good. I'm not really one uh, for 3D platformers. But it, it is pretty good. Um, I think the only thing that I would change would be 
Well, actually, maybe not even that now because you can. I figured out how to aim, so I, now I understand the control stru control structure of switching between the uh, the weapons instead of just using the keys for them, or the abilities instead of just using the keys for them. Um, the voice acting could be a little bit better, but other than that, I mean. It, it's a pretty good game so far. Um, I'd like to see when it does come out uh, and, and play more from there. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely a pretty good game. Um, I'm glad I got recommended it. I will put the link in the description for the, for the demo if anybody else wants to play it and explore more than, you know, what I did. Um, I did not like the, the <laughs> gravity movement. Although once I figured that out, that was a little bit easier as well, so... Um, that's what you get for not reading the, the prompts that pop up. I do think that there is some optimization that is needed, um, especially like during the cutscenes. Uh, I, I did notice that during the cutscenes, RAM and CPU usage kind of ramped up a little bit. Um, so I think some optimization needs to go there. But again, this is an alpha, so some things like that are unoptimized are to be expected. Some bugs are to be expected, um, so forth and so on, but... I, I, it was really fun. Um, I'm interested to see what's going on on the planet or the planet's upper atmosphere and star eaters. That is, uh, that is interesting. I, I, I do think some of the dialogue is a little bit cheesy though. Like there, there are certain things that people like people just don't normally talk the way that some of these people do like Bonnie that's not normal con conversational English there. That's not a normal conversational tone or or or, or pattern. It's very formal. Very. <laughs> it's more like you're talking to a colleague and not a friend. Um. But yeah, so uh, I d I do think that's pretty good. I, I, it's it's a pretty good game. I definitely recommend it. I definitely recommend giving it a try. Keeping an eye out for when it comes out. Uh. Definitely go and uh, uh, support the developer. They, they, they've worked hard on it. Uh, Ink Rose uh, Incorporated, they, they, they worked hard on it. So definitely go uh, see what they, uh, see what else they're planning. And until next time, have a good one.